Hey, this is Harun. Today we're going to learn HTML. So first of all, we know what what is HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML describes the structure of a web page. HTML elements tells the browser how to display the content. HTML elements are represented by tags. So what is tags? Tags are label attached to someone or something. Tags basically mean a label for the purpose of identification that identify itself. Uh, HTML tags label pieces of content such as heading, paragraph, table, and so on. On browser, browser means web browser where you run your HTML code. Basically, your HTML code will run on your browser. It may be Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, or Google Chrome, etc. Uh, with HTML, you can create your own website. HTML is easy to learn. So let's move. So HTML editor. So we are going to start HTML editor. What is HTML editor? HTML editor is an editor where you where you will write your HTML code. Web pages can be created and modified on the HTML editor by using professional HTML editor or you can use your basic or simple HTML editor. So whatever you want, it's your choice. You can use your basic HTML editor or you can use your professional HTML editor. So we're going to start with simple editor. Simple editor is not bad. And professional editor is Sublime or Dreamweaver or another editor that you want to use you can use so we are going to start with simple HTML editor that is notepad uh, we write our code on notepad go to start button you type notepad and your notepad page will appear first of all we have to do is dead to increase font size so display uh, may be clear yeah it's 24 uh, first of all you have to save your HTML file with the extension what HTML is the extension of HTML file so uh, you have to click on file or save or you directly control plus s now write your pro uh, project name I'm writing here my project uh, and now all file now you have to dot html extension of html page so we are starting our html first of all exclamation sign and doc type html and yes uh, it's a document type that tell the browser the document type is html now you have to write html tag it's an open tag and now it's a closing tag html uh, have open tag and then we have to define its ending tag and now it, uh, html open tag and html ending tag now we have to write body tag body it's open tag and it's ending tag and yes uh, the content that you are using in your body tag that will display on your browser it's your basically it's your output your output will be shown that you are writing in your uh, is body tag that will represent on your browser uh, now I'm going to write a basic tag that is uh, heading h1 and yes h1 and it's open and closing tag now I'm writing here hello world and double click on the browser and you can see uh, hello world will be displayed and now 
now I'm going to tell you about H1 tag. Uh, H1 has H H basically stands for heading. Heading basically six type of headings. H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. So every heading have a different meaning. So we can see. And yes, it's H2. Copy and paste. Now it's closing tag. And you can see it's six tag, eight six tag. And now I have to save or control plus S. Now click double click on it. And you can see the difference between all six tags. And now I'm using a uh, head tag. Head now I'm using uh, a title tag in head tag. It's my blog. And now you can see and yes my blog will be displayed now I'm using paragraph tag paragraph open and paragraph closing tag and writing here this is my first paragraph you can write something else here that you want to write and uh, execute this is my first paragraph and yes it's working I'm writing here something else like maybe you like it And yes now refresh and yes it's wor working and you can use many tag many paragraph tags I'm using another one so open and close tags and now I'm writing here this is my another paragraph and yes now save and yes now save and refresh this is it's working and now I have to anchor tag a tag a tag its HTML links it. It is used to link an address and address that you want to move. It's like Google, like your Facebook address, like your Instagram address, whatever you want to move uh, from your web page to an other destination. So how it work? Let's see. Tag and a closing tag. Now give its attributes. H R E F H R E F it's attributes uh, where you are writing your address I'm writing here I uh, am writing here Google address you can see uh, writing here click here you can whatever you want to write I'm writing here click here now going back to your browser and refresh and you can see uh, and click here let's move so its anchor tag is used to move an other destination on the internet on the web browser on the web pages it's maybe your Facebook address maybe your Instagram address maybe your another website address whatever you want hey tag HTML links href is attributes what is attributes attributes links the destination is specified in href we have to write our addresses or destination in href then we can move to an other side what is attributes used to provide additional information yeah. it's mean it's provide additional tag that we are going to discuss is image tag table tag and list tag now we are going to our project it's open and not bad now you can see the html of your project maximize it and write here image tag img image tag don't have ending tag now write here attribute crc is equal double quotes crc stands for source here you have to give the address of your picture my project and picture both are in the same folder so pick is the name of the picture so right cl click on it and properties and you can see the type of file its extension is png dot png so i'm going to give the name of the picture in source attributes pick an extension dot png now go back to your html 
and remove now save it and go back to your browser and refresh you can see there is no picture because i was erased my image tag now image tag is back save and refresh now the picture is back i'm making here a new folder images and cut it cut your image and paste it in image folder now go back to your html i'm giving here folder name images slash now save it and refresh your browser you can see there is no effect in your image now remove the s and go back and refresh now there is no image because there is address error now back and save and refresh you can see the image is back I'm going to give here a alt attribute alt stands for alternate I'm writing here something wrong alternate attribute is used when there is no picture the alternate message will be appeared so I'm writing here something wrong you can see how it works refresh save it and now refresh you can see there's something wrong that we are using it alternate in alt attributes something wrong I, I was used in alt attributes that appear in your browser because there is address error there is no address of the picture in your source attribute I'm going now I'm giving back to address to source attributes now go to browser refresh and you can see the image now I'm going to give here a style attribute style attributes now save it and go back to your browser refresh you can see the width and height that I gave in uh, style attributes was change the width and height of the image now go back to your html and change the width 200 pixel and change the height 200 pixel now save it and refresh and you can see the height and width was change now i'm going to discuss table it's table open tag Next table ending tag. Now you have to give here TR. TR stands for table draw, draw data. For example, I'm writing here table heading. TH stands for table heading. I'm writing here. first name first name then last name then age it's my table heading the row appear in the document with first name last name and age it's for table headings and now i'm going to here table data now refresh it it's first name last name and age you can see it's very close to each other now i'm going to give style attributes and is equal to 100 with 100 percent now save it and refresh now it's cover 100 percent width of the browser now go back to your html i'm giving here tr and mega and other table draw and give here table data it is td stands for table data i'm giving here table data first table data was john the first name john the last name is smith and the age is 25 
and you can see how it's work we are because we are using only HTML uh, this styling problem is covered in our CSS lecture so I'm going to zoom here and you can see now I'm giving an other table data that is hurricane 50 so move to the list there is two types of list unordered list and ordered list first of all unordered list Delete. ul stands for unordered list and we are using ul tag for unordered list and li stands for list item so the data that we are using in li will appear with the unordered list pizza and burger so now refresh you can see it's unordered with bullets it's a unordered list and now i'm giving here a ordered list ol tag ol open and ol closing tag is used for ordered list now i'm giving here the same data now save it and refresh now you can see the difference the first unordered list will appear with bullets and the second is ordered list with uh, was appear in one two or counting form now zoom back it you can see clearly html also support description list what is description list in description list dl defined description dl defined description dt defined the term the description of the term and the dd describe each term so let's see how it's work so i'm going to write in h1 html description list and now dt dt open and dt close tag now right here coffee and dt tag open and dt closing tag I'm writing here black hot drink now write here another dt tag and write here milk and dt white call drink now save it and refresh it's coffee and the description of the coffee is black hot drink and milk and description of the milk is white call drink 